Well, high school football players worked on tackling technique drills at the Colts Complex today. Players representing 18 schools from all over our state took part in the health and safety clinic. In fact, they also collected checks to support their athletic departments back at home. Uh, Rich Nye shows us tonight how one small school in Madison County just doubled its athletic budget for next year. For the fourth straight year, the Colts and United Healthcare teamed up for a safety football tackling clinic. But there's also a big prize on the line today. One school is going home with $25,000 for brand new football helmets. <laughs> High school players from across Indiana worked on tackling techniques at the Colts indoor practice facility during a heads up football clinic conducted by Indy based USA Football. Proper tackling is important. I mean, you can't tackle with your head down because you can easily get injured and it could really affect you later on in life if you have a serious injury. And so I just kind of reinforce that. My coach always talks about that. He preaches that. Break down, run through, tag off. Nice job. Keeping your helmet and keeping your head out of the contact. It's, it's a contact sport and it's a fast paced sport, so it's going to happen. But I feel like awareness of, of that and instilling that in our kids is, is really cut down on injuries. Advances in helmet technology can also improve safety. All 18 teams in attendance took home $1,000 for their athletic departments. But a random drawing awarded one team $25,000 for new helmets. I was shaking up there. It was crazy. I saw my buddy smiling and laughing. It was pretty fun. Number one is the winner. The last ball to pop out of the hopper belonged to Alexandria Monroe High School. You just got your first win of the season. Yes. <laughs> yeah, and I think I was sweating it just as much as any other uh, real football game. Providing these kind of resources to the schools really uh, helps to improve uh, the safety and, and the welfare of those athletes. And, and honestly, um, this program is much bigger than football because uh, you know the, uh, being able to provide these kind of resources to those schools really then has a cascade or downstream effects to all the other sports. The big check basically doubles the annual athletic budget of the school in Madison County with 753 students. I'm Rich Knight, Channel 13 Eyewitness News. All right, awesome. congrats to Alexandria. That's right. In fact, previous Central Indiana winning schools include Eastbrook, mm. Anderson Prep Academy, as well as Tri-West. Congratulations. Yeah.